long time since I've been out here in my garage working on some things. Um, so for anybody who's watching this, uh, all two of you, or including me, thanks for watching. And uh, I appreciate it. Hello and welcome to Woodchip Garage. Uh, today, it's all about building a gun cabinet. Um, I looked into buying some gun safes and they are astronomical in price and so therefore I decided to build my own. And so today is the starting point for that. Uh, I'm not going to get everything done today. Uh, just made it back from Lowe's uh, and Home Depot because as soon as I left from Lowe's on my way home I remembered something that I forgot to get. Home Depot was closer, so I just, anyway, long story short, I finally got all the lumber I need, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a nice little project. The reason why I'm building a gun safe instead of purchasing, or a gun cabinet, rather than purchasing a gun safe, is because gun safes are astronomical in price. And uh, I just don't have that kind of money on me, so. So I just have to do what I have to do, and uh, that's what I'm going to do. All right, you might have noticed that uh, some shingles fell off the wall. Still haven't gotten any whatever it is that goes inside the walls to, you know, keep the temperature down in the summertime and the temperature up in the wintertime insulation. So... Whatever. Anyway, uh, let's get started. Alright, so this is what we're working with today. I bought uh, all the lumber I needed to build the frame, and that's as far as I plan on getting for today, because it's Sunday. Two 10 foot 2x4s, and then I bought four 8 foot long 1x2s. Should be 36 inches long by 18 inches uh, deep. All right, so I measured both, and that is correct. So the plan is to make two of these. One will be the bottom, and then one will go up up top. And I didn't tell you before, but uh, the plan is to make this gun cabinet uh, 60 inches, six zero inches tall. And I haven't decided if I want to put wheels on it. Uh, yes, I know that might sound hilarious to put wheels on it, but the place where I'm going to put this thing, there's by the time I put it together, um, there's no, there's not going to be any way to fit it out the door anyway. So it's actually going to be really helpful if I put uh, some wheels on the bottom of this, um, so I can help me move stuff around within the sp that space if I need to. I mean, I've got a box full of extra bits I mean it even says so but uh, none of them fit this two and a half inch wood screws that I wanted to use So now both the top and the bottom are done. Uh, so now all I need to do is take them to the location where I'm going to store it and then attach the supports to the top and the bottom to 
basically make it a skeleton gun cabinet. Now it's gonna go down and then I attach the top part once these are secure. They're not at the moment. They're getting ready to fall down and break something. I apologize ahead of time for the noise, uh, but that's just the way it is. So here it is, another semi mock-up. Yeah, that's basically how it's gonna go. I don't have any casters, I didn't buy those today. Again, I'm not gonna worry about it. This thing won't be too heavy. Uh, I'll be able to, well, you know, I'm gonna have to lift it up and down anyway. So anyway, I'll worry about that another day. For today, I'm just getting the skeleton together. Well, I just found out that I guess I went a little too fast and I cut these I cut two of the one by twos at 30 35 inches I guess instead of 34 and a half uh, so that's not good so I gotta trim those and I'll be right back all right here it is this is where I'm gonna end for today is it top heavy? Yeah. Is it level? I don't know. Does it look awesome? Not yet, but it will. All right, that's going to be it. I'm going to come back tomorrow and try to get some more done. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, all I got done today was the frame or the tubifer and uh, that's done so the rest of it I should just be able to plan out and uh, get the sides and the backing done as well as the top and the bottom uh, next time in my next video or perhaps in the video after that uh, I'm, I've got a little bit of a surprise uh, yeah I think it's uh, you know what I might just wait until the whole thing is done and then uh, show what that surprise is but uh, it's gonna be pretty freaking cool I, I know that Thanks for watching, appreciate it, like if you like it, and see you next time.